We've got a big red here on the inside of this bend. You can see the top of this red here is actually dry, but the eggs are buried well, well below the, the, the crest of this heap here. You know, so they're, they're still underwater. They'll, they'll probably be okay even if it ever drops a little bit. But what I wanted to say here was that the eggs that are in here now, so we're in the middle of November, it'll be the middle of May before they emerge from this red as little fish. So it's six months there, and they're at, so they're very vulnerable. You know, they're, in, they're under the gravel, totally defenceless. They're at, for the first half of that six months, they're, they're inside the egg, and then they hatch out as little alevins with the yolk sac. And again, at that point, they're defenceless. defenceless. It's not until the middle of May, when that yolk sac has been fully absorbed, that they emerge from the gravel as a little fish. So it's a long time, very vulnerable, you know, to disturbance or wash out or silt. We're lucky, this is a great river with very little silt in it, but um, in other parts of the, other rivers, mainly in other parts of the country where silt is a problem, if silt comes along, it can stop the, seal up the gravel and stop water flowing through the gravel. So they depend on good quality gravel to allow a slow flow of water to move through it. This is our a wee red here on the side of the river. If the dog would move out of the way. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. You can see here, this is the spoil heap. You notice how deep it is there? Uh, about six inches. Put it into the hole here just above, and it's six inches deeper. So that's a typical cross-section of a raid. You get a deeper area above where the fish is, dig out, where it's been working away, dig out a hole with its tail, and then downstream, always downstream, the, the finer material that it's been able to move is deposited in a, in a spoil heap like this. That's your classic little salmon red there.